charter for the University of Helsinki was signed in 1640 by a 13-year-old girl. Later, she became known as Queen Christine. You see, in those days, Finland was still part of the Kingdom of Sweden. The Finns were notorious for their stubbornness, and in 1917, they gained their independence. This stubbornness gene is alive and well. We continue to believe in the welfare state. That means free health care and education for all. Everyone deserves to be cared for equally. The Finnish coat of arms shows a lion. But what makes everything possible is the bear. The bear collects the taxes needed to finance the welfare state. We like bears. Plenty happen to live in our forests, and we're not afraid of the police. Are we too trusting? Too naive? You decide. According to Monocle magazine, Helsinki is the best city in the world to live in, and according to Newsweek, it's located in the world's most livable country. If you want to get to know a Finn, don't be offended if we seem a little reserved. There aren't too many of us, and we're used to silence. In terms of square miles, Finland is almost as big as Germany, but the city of Berlin alone has about the same population as the whole of Finland. Why not try being friends with a Finn? After everyone else has gone, your old Scandinavian pal will still be there for you, silent but solid. Our small population of 5 million Finns offers genetic scientists a unique gene pool to study. Finland, and in particular the University of Helsinki, is known for world-class genetics research. Space travel into the microcosmos. The World Expo of Genetics. If you spend, let's say, three years in Helsinki, you have inhaled and exhaled approximately 16 million times. More than 8 million litres of Helsinki air will have passed through your windpipe. And although the air in Helsinki and Finland is relatively clean, we have decided to do our best to make it even cleaner. Small particles are big killers. Particles gathering in your lungs will end your life. Particles gathering on ice will wipe out the glaciers. We want to know everything about small particles, so we can control climate change. We want to keep wearing our woolen hats. A decrease of even one single degree Celsius would have a huge global impact. Globally, the University of Helsinki is at the forefront of small particle research. This will get you a kilo, or two pounds, of Baltic herring at the market square. A two euro bus ticket will take you camping at Nuxio National Park. On the coldest days, you used to be able to drive across the ice from Helsinki to the island of Sormenlinna. Summer. In Finland, it's as delicious as it gets, many say. Where would we be without believing in the future? In the world, there are about 15,000 universities. Among them, the University of Helsinki ranks number 74. So where's our future? In children, my friend. According to the PISA study, the Finnish school system produces the world's best students. High quality teacher education has been evaluated as a key factor in good learning results. We want to teach how to learn. We want to learn how to teach. It's easy to find your way here. Amid the winter ice and summer heat glimmers a small diamond. In the wintertime, we cultivate our strange humor. In the summer, we dance the tango. And the whole time, world-changing science is being born. <laughs>